Hey guys, Eric here. Today we're going to be brewing a Walker's Scotch Ale. Um, we'll go over some of the recipe with you. Seven pounds of two row, one pound of caramel 80, half pound of melodonin malt, melon, melanoidin, never used it, melanoidin malt, some aromatic malt, peat smoked malt, black patent, and for our hops we're using one and a half ounce of EK Goldings. This is a five and a half gallon recipe. Never done a scotch before. Should be pretty good. Let's see, our shooting for our original gravity of 1054. And uh, see how it goes. Perfect day here in Madison, Wisconsin for some brewing. Took off work a little early. Blue, gorgeous skies. Time to brew. Here's the grain bill. And we're all set up with the mill. Let's get that going. Celsius, no wonder. Looking for 155, 154 and a half. It's actually between 154 and 156, so we're good. Close that up for an hour. Here go the first runnings. We have a few pints on the stove. Starting to caramelize, trying to figure out what that means. And our sparge water is coming up to temperature. Shooting for 185 or so. It's about ready. Next up is the sparge. This recipe calls for caramelizing some of the wort from the first runnings. Caramelize it and you add it back to the boil at some point. So we're just going to grab, I don't really know how much. Time to sparge. Doing two new sparges of 2.6 gallons.
high. One and a half ounces. They're supposed to be East Kent Goldens, but they didn't have them, so U.S. Goldens, close enough. Hopefully it won't uh, go too big in my little muslin bag. All right, I only have one in it. If it gets too huge, maybe I'll just throw in a couple pellets. We'll see. Hot break's about to happen. Doesn't look too bad, though. Got our counter flow chiller going from the boil kettle through our pump to the chiller. Captured some of that water for cleanup. And this recipe calls for 65 degree wort. We are 66.3 coming from here. So by that time, you know, that'll be cool. It's good enough. Oh, and for you Euros out there, it's 18.19. It's you home beer brewery. So let that finish and get our yeast ready. Here we go. Five and a half more or less gallons. Really good looking, nice color Scottish ale. Pitch the yeast, shook it like mad. And we're at 1052 for our specific gravity. Recipe called for 1054. So, not too far off. Good enough for now.